Hey guys, in my office and I wanted to record a quick video. I know I was MIA last week. We had our first summer camp and it was just crazy. I did not have enough time to record. Uh, but as we're coming off of our first summer camp and it was for transition age youth with disabilities who were kind of getting their feet wet with going to college, uh, many of them were about to go to college or they were in their last year of high school. But it got me to thinking about the five like my top five things on what first year students should know when transitioning to college i'm going to go over them but before i get started please be sure to like share and subscribe to my channel so my first number one thing for uh, first year students who are getting ready to go to college is advocacy so it is so important to remember that once you get to college like things don't just happen you have to start the process to make them happen and you do that by advocating for yourself so it could be just as simple as asking questions it could be just as simple as you know going to different scheduled meetings to learn more about different departments um, and then most importantly, like most students are used to their parents during, doing like everything for them. So it's important for you to start transitioning into making those phone calls for yourself, into sending those emails for yourself, really into getting into in what we call the driver's seat. So per, before your parents were in the driver's seat, now you need to transition um, into the driver's seat and you do that by advocating for yourself. All right, number two, your finances. If you are not used to budgeting, if you're not used to, you know, getting money on your own and you're actually the person that gets it, your parents are not the first person that gets it, you should probably start looking into some type of financial resources. It is so important for you to know how to budget your money many students they come to college and they get that refund check which is the overage from your financial aid and it's a lot of money for you know students who don't have jobs and who have never gotten like a large sum of money at one time you know some students are getting at least a thousand dollars and some of them are getting a lot more than that so it's important for you to really learn how to budget i did a lot of talking about that on last week as y'all know i'm on a financial journey and I have some news but I'm gonna save it to the end about my financial journey so make sure you watch all the way to the end but it's important for you to know how to budget um, there are many like helpful videos out there but there's a lot of junk out there too um, I follow the Dave Ramsey principles it's gotten me this far I say it's sound and good but it's important for you to really look into financial resources that make sense to you and that actually like have some proof that they work but if you haven't started budgeting if you don't even know what budgeting is i have um, a few helpful videos on them so check out my channel below all right number three you need to meet new people so as a first year student or students who are in their first four years you need to really get in the habit of meeting new people that's how you network with folks. That's how you learn about resources that are out there. I met my best friend in college. That was like a long time ago and we're still friends today. We talk like every day. So you meet lifelong friends. And most importantly, those are skills that you can transfer to a career. Because in a career, you're gonna have people from all types of different places. Um, it's gonna be very diverse. And you wanna make sure that you know how to navigate those waters um, appropriately. So uh, one thing I noticed last week with our students is that that they were like a little shy but like talking to other people but y'all they got like right into it like they were like best friends by like dinner and it's important you know for you to just be able to mesh with different groups of people and to make the best out of it because you're not always going to have you know your friend that's been there forever you're going to have to make new friends and that's the point of college is to meet people and to learn how to interact with people so get used to that now Number four, get on a schedule. So as y'all know, I was a teacher and if any of my former students are following me, drop down in the comments, you know that there was always something to do. 
in Ms. Dugan's class. So I took that same sentiment for our camp last week and I packed our agenda tight. I wanted our students to really, you know, just be immersed into the college uh, setting. So there was something to do from sun up to sun down. And it just made me realize that it's important for you to be on a schedule. You gotta be used to getting up in the morning. You know, I know I know that you can pick your courses in college, but they're not always gonna be like at 10 a.m. or like 11 a.m., basically like giving you enough time to sleep in. No, first year students have to like get the last of the pickings. So that means you're gonna have the 8 a.m. courses. You're gonna have those early courses. So it's important for you to get on a schedule. Uh, to make sure you know that you're getting the appropriate rest so that you can not only get up on time but so that you can keep it pushing you know throughout the day because that was kind of hard for some of our students because they weren't on a schedule so if you're used to you know staying up all night you know uh, late nights and then like late mornings as well it's not going to be like that in college um, all of the time so you want to make sure that you get yourself used to being on a schedule, to getting up on your own, to making sure that you have enough energy to make it throughout the day. Because that's really important. A lot of times classes are back to back to back. Sometimes they aren't. Um, but if they are, you know, you're gonna have to like really be on your toes for like several hours. And then if you have something to do after that, you gotta keep going. So if you aren't already used to being on a schedule, get on a schedule now. All right, so my last tip, number five, is to be resourceful. Like, you know, students are so resourceful in like every other way but academic sometimes. It doesn't translate all the time, but be resourceful. Where would people, you know, be looking for that item um, that you're looking for? Is it in the library? Okay, start there, go to the library. Um, Google, you know, use the university's website to type in those different things that you're wondering use the directory a directory it has a listing of everybody's name phone number and email address that's at your college or university it's typically listed at the bottom of your university's or college's homepage, and it says directory so you know use it save it um as you know like a favorite on your laptop on your phone because yeah there are a lot of people that you have to contact and you don't always have their number saved but that's a for sure way to know where information is so you know just like we are resourceful we're finding those deals, you know, getting those sales. We have to be resourceful for the things that really matter. So that may look like, you know, taking that extra step to do some research. That may look like um, asking more questions. Um, that may look like, you know, if this person can't answer your question here, then you have your backup person to go to. But it's very important to start thinking of ways, you know, well, how can I find this information? Where would this information be listed? You know, give it your best guess. If you're wrong, that person will most likely direct you to the right person. It's like little breadcrumbs, right? You keep going and then you find the rainbow at the end. Y'all know what I'm saying. But I hope this video was helpful for you. Drop down in the comments and let me know. And I almost forgot, y'all, my financial journey, y'all, has finally, I wouldn't say come to an end, but my debt journey has come to an end. As of about two weeks ago on this Thursday, I am debt-free, y'all. So I'm going to be doing um, a video about that soon, doing the debt-free photo shoot soon. So I will be sure to take y'all along with me there. Um, but drop down in the comments and let me know, is there anything else that you think first-year students should know? Be sure to check me out over at my blog, dugandigsdisability.org. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I'm almost at 400 subscribers, and I want to make it there soon. So thanks, y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.